Guys, AJ says, I want to do my episode on butterflies. Butterflies? Butterflies. <laughs> I said, butterflies? Is that a Southwest Florida thing? She said, heck yeah. <laughs> I said, I didn't know that. She goes, well, then you're not looking or you're not trying. <laughs> so she showed me. This is Rhonda Walker. I think you want to be a butterfly whisperer. I am the butterfly whisperer. Butterflies, it turns out, are a thing in Southwest Florida. A big thing. You have the ability almost 365 days a year to view a gorgeous butterfly. You just got to know what you're doing. For many Southwest Floridians, it starts right in their garden. What's the difference between a host plant and a nectar plant? Host plant is what the butterfly lays its eggs on and grows. A nectar plant is where they get their nutrition. Only certain butterflies will host on certain plants. Right, this butterfly hosts on this plant, that butterfly hosts on that plant, so if you like a certain kind of butterfly, you get a certain kind of plant. How fun is that? If you don't see butterflies, it's because you have nothing to feed them. Butterflies need nectar. You can go to any of the local nurseries and they can help you find the ones that have the highest nectar content. So people buy a bunch of host and nectar plants for their garden, but they make a big rookie mistake and wind up with a garden that looks all chewed up down to the vine. Not pretty, but Rhonda the Butterfly Whisperer has a strategy for that. The strategy is to place them behind somewhere that will not be in full view so that the butterflies can land and grow. They can eat them and then you don't have to worry about it being something ugly in your garden. Right, in the front of your garden. Yes. Look what we just found. What is it? These are baby caterpillars. And, and where, where did you pick that off of? Right off of a milkweed. Now that, that butterfly right there is laying eggs. Yes. It'll go up under. It'll put its butt underneath the leaf. So let's see if we have, it, if we have an egg. Up. We have an egg. Get yep. out of here. Right there you go. You just caught it happening? Yes, you just saw it lay an egg. It happens all day. All day long, they just fly around. That'll be a caterpillar in three days? About three days. And it'll emerge very small, almost microscopic. And this is what you have after just a few days. That butterfly just laid an egg. Just laid an egg. Three days it becomes a, a tiny little caterpillar. And how old is this caterpillar right here? It's probably about three or four days old. Just like that butterfly just laid that egg. That yeah. was like a week ago? Yes. Get out. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And they're laying more. It is fascinating. Okay, so now how long till this one becomes a butterfly? We'll go into chrysalis in about another seven to eight days. Then it'll stay in chrysalis nine to 12 days, and then it'll hatch. We can have a butterfly in a month? Under a month, just under a month. That's pretty fascinating. It's not just a butterfly garden. It's an eternal circle of life butterfly garden. It's fascinating. Beautiful to children, nature lovers of all ages. Okay, okay, <laughs> it's just really getting more, more and more interesting. How often are these butterflies laying eggs all day long? They lay eggs up to 400. A 400 what, a day? A day? a day? You gotta be kidding me. No. Some are prolific layers. That's your probably name is chrysalis. Where? Can you point at it? That green thing? Wow, and it disguises itself so well. Now what's gonna happen here? That'll hatch in about a week. In a week? Yeah, <laughs> we'll get a nice big old black uh, polydamus will come out. Polydamus yes. is gonna come out of there in a week? Yeah. We should just stay here. Over. Yeah, we should just camp up, right? <laughs> It's a lot of fun getting attached to all these people's Southwest Florida interests. I love this place. This is beautiful. It's peaceful. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's Miss Monarch, the butterfly whisperer. <laughs> if you plant it, they will come. We'll see you next week.